In this video I'm going to show you how to get rid of a background in Photoshop. Now I've deliberately chosen a straightforward image. We've got a, a plain uh, blue background, very high contrast to the image I want to keep of the statue here, the object here. And we're going to use the magic wand tool on the left hand side. And the default tolerance setting is 32. The tolerance setting is a brightness plus or minus 32. And the way the magic wand tool works is I click on something, it will select a pixel, work out the brightness, and then all the pixels touching that pixel, if there is the same brightness but plus or minus 32, it will then select it. And because contiguous is ticked, everything that's touching, as you can see, it will then keep on selecting until it stops. I can, of course, just increase the tolerance. I'll set it to 50. I'll click in the dotted area that will get rid of it. Click again and you can see more get selected and I can do this a few times if I want. I'll go up to 80 but at some point if I'm not careful it'll start going into the image. In this case because I've chosen a very high contrast between the foreground and background it'll be fine but to save I'm going to set this back to 32 to save me sort of having to change the numbers all the time all you have to do is click once hold the shift key down and you can see I've got a little plus button by the cursor and all I do is with the shift key held down keep on clicking on the bits I don't have until I get everything I want which is the background and indeed I can then go to the select menu and I can go to inverse and then I can do copy and paste I can hide the background and here we go it's not perfect. If I zoom in, you'd be able to see I've got a fringe there of blue, but I could get rid of this afterwards if I wanted to. But this is a nice quick way of getting rid of the background. And if I add a new layer, I'm going to add a solid color here and I'll just do OK and I'll drag it below layer one. And there you go. You see, if I double click on this, I can now change the color and do OK or I can add a gradient or anything else like that and that's a nice quick way of getting rid of the background. Another way I'll just revert this I can use the uh, magic eraser tool I'll select that notice the layer is the background layer and again we have a tolerance and I'll set this to say to 50 I just click notice this is now created as layer zero. The names change because the background layer is not allowed to have transparency. I have my transparency grid off so it looks like white but again if I bring in my uh, solid color drag it below there you go you see and now I'll click on layer zero I'm on the uh, background eraser tool the magic sorry the magic eraser tool and I start clicking on the things I don't want and bingo it works quite well and if I want to refine this I can zoom in and the little bits I don't want I could then just click on the rubber tool the eraser tool make a nice small brush and I can start rubbing out things if I want and that's a nice way of getting rid of the background however it does mean you have to start with a good image, a useful image like this.